Today is still March 3rd, 2024. After the last video of at Trinity Gospel, little kids were talking. No one's to say a word to her. They found out that that girl they were all helping out for is some kind of stripper prostitute. And she probably has AIDS. She's dirty. Nobody's to say a word. And they were all helping out for her. Well, of course she's a stripper and prostitute. She's part of the human traffickers from Florida. Huh? From Florida. They were with the big truck guys. That's where Lauren, she is too. She's a human trafficker. She's a child molester. Michelle is, Alex, all these people are child molesters. Do you realize they walked into a federal police office, okay? Federal FBI office, Federal Bureau of Investigator, Federal Police Department. To a federal police officer, they confessed that Dave hired him on his own. He hired a stalker. He's not allowed. Fourth Amendment over the house. Nobody's allowed in my home. Okay. All right. Let alone the human traffickers in a drug cartel. Okay. They go in and tell a fed they were hired stalkers. That they had been stalking me on their own. And arrest them for voyeurism. Taking naked pictures of people without their permission. He didn't arrest them. They admitted they taped in the bathroom and little kids go on potty. They admitted to a federal police officer they had kitty porn. He didn't arrest them for kitty porn. They admitted they were using sodium pentothal on me. You can't even get it and lie under it. Like the cops said, it wasn't even funny. They said they had sodium pentothal reports. You can't even get it. It's a lethal outlaw drug. You just say yes to anything. Okay? They told the federal police officer they were drugging me to get the truth out of me. They were date rape drugging me and telling me to say stuff, to frame me. And I never seen anybody and I never talked to anybody. How would you like to be me? We moved to a new house. I have four attempts on my life. I'm working on our retirement home. And by the second week, I'm almost collapsing out in the in front yard in front of the neighbor. He comes running over. Can I help you? It's like, I don't know what's wrong with me. My heart's beating through my neck. I've been throwing up and all of a sudden I'm just dizzy and I'm almost collapsing. I'll mow your lawn for you. I, I, don't, I don't have money to pay you. And neighbors don't pay each other. I feel bad. I'll just do it. And the small talk to I let him mow my lawn for me. Everybody knew it happened. I had marks on me. Here I've been drugged, beaten, raped in my own home by the second week. Drugged up and told to say stuff. And that federal police officer didn't arrest him for doing such vile crimes to me and drugging me up and telling me to say stuff. They were taping me they, in the shower, in bed with Dave, selling me on porn sites, I heard. And he didn't arrest him for exploiting me and human trafficking me under drugs. And I kept going to the doctor. Now, we had well water. Uh, before we got the uh, water treatment system, it looked like orange poop water. I would wash my hands in it. We had to take our laundry to either a laundromat or a kid's house. I showered in it. I thought the well water from just washing in it was making me sick. That it was that toxic. It had iron bacteria and iron gas. And I thought when we got it tested, maybe that was what was making me sick. Made my personal air swell up and get infected. I was trying to make excuses for what's happening to me. I never seen anybody. There's times I go work out in the yard or the back. If you go in the backyard, there's grass for a little bit and then it goes into this big woods. Well, if you go walk into the backwoods, it opens up in canopy. And there was cans, bottles, uh, all kinds of stuff back there. And it took me weeks to haul it out. I had 10-year-old grandkids, and I didn't want them to get into any of that or get hurt. So I was cleaning it up, and we're talking about putting a picnic table back there. Okay? I would come in and wash my hands. I would make something to eat and drink, go and use the bathroom, wash my hands better, sit down, take a drink, and the room would get dizzy. I'd wake up hours later. It's like, boy, I must have worked too hard. How I don't remember hit my arm or my leg. And I have more marks, and I'd run to the bathroom throwing up. I lost 18 pounds before I called the FBI. Or I'd wake up with marks that look like injection marks. There's times I woke up with handprints in bed in my arm. It's like, did I squeeze myself and the fingerprints are bigger than mine on both arms? I had marks on me. And I'm like, if that idiot's beating on me, why am I not waking up? And where are these coming from? 
And I kept going to the doctor. I don't know where these marks are coming from. Did you fall? No. Maybe you're coming in anemic. We'll get the iron pills. My muscles are even hurt. We'll get you some muscle relaxers. And then I can't even go to the bathroom. My private area is so swollen. I can't hardly pee. Okay. They give me, have to give me pills and creams. Okay. And stuff for a headache, dizzy, and nauseousness. There's, there, it's documented. I had all the signs of being drugged, being raped. And I'm blaming the well water. I'm even thinking from the bruising, is the well water giving me cancer? Just bathing in it. Because why on earth am I so sick? I never seen anybody. Never talked to anybody before the FBI. Nobody. Think of sexual predators preying on a victim like that. Now you tell me where any of this is funny. It's not. It's not. It's not. I've never talked to anybody and I didn't have these people in my home. And them photoshopping, washing. Oh, some idiot showed up at Target today. Well, we all know it's documented she never hurt anybody. They're supposed to have her saying what? Is that was that part of them drugging her and telling her to say it before? I'll take care of it. You already knew that, honey. They knew in eighteen. They knew in eighteen. It was a drug cartel frame of me running a sex extortion scheme. You knew that in eighteen. You knew that in eighteen. Photoshopping, washing in the other room and date rape drug confessions. So I'd be sleepwalking under somebody else's control. You knew that. People, kids walk in as I go into Target in Belden. Nobody say a word to her. That girl's some kind of prostitute that had it. Don't do it to her. They said, well, we're starting to date her. So I found out she was a prostitute. Oh, I'll beat that one. He better not be dating her or Lauren or anybody from that drug cartel. Because I'll tell you what. Like that former CIA agent. She's been talking to the CIA about this. I hear her outside. She's, she even said under no circumstances would he ever be permitted or allowed for any excuse to date any of them. Ever would it ever be allowed. They're child molesters. They admitted to a federal police officer. They were taping in every room, including bathrooms, including children going potty. They confessed to a federal police officer they had obtained and dispensed kitty porn. He didn't arrest him. He didn't arrest him. They bragged to him that they also were using sodium pentothal and they had worked date rape drug on me, basically, roofing me and to get the truth out of me and that I had never talked to anybody. And they were running this big sex extortion scheme, the photoshopping and washing, and they're trying to blame the pathetic Vegas. And their mental illness of just wanting to kill somebody had nothing to do with a traffic accident 15 years ago. But they just picked out someone to kill. Huh? Yeah, and that's why they're doing it. Huh? Think about it. Like, he would never be permitted to date any of these people. Other people came in, uh, Ollie's uh, out there. Said they found out some idiots trying to sell her online. Oh, the police already know that, honey. The police already know he, that he's been trying to sell me online for five years. He's been trying to sell me online. The idiots show up, they arrest him. Okay. We went to go to Red Lobster. Some guys walk out and said that she said it was on a Tuesday. Tuesday or Sunday, and it's going to probably be a Tuesday. Mulligans within the last few months. Okay. Who was assigned to me? Because the guy that was in Giant Eagle, I would say... Uh, May to July, I don't think into August of 19. A guy, Middle Eastern look, black beard, young. I, I would, well, he had probably a eight-year-old with him, little girl, six, eight-year-old. Okay. And he's got the black hair, dark eyes, until he's Middle Eastern. 
little kid said, what about her? She's too old for what we need. Okay. Well, he shows up at Mulligan's in the last few months. Okay, I go in there for lunchtime. Okay. I sit down and we had to move because they were so loud. Up walks across the top balcony. He sits down with a group of men and they're real loud. He said, I told you she was too old for what we need. He said, well, he said, and she's got those lines between her eyes and on her nose. He said, well, the doctor wouldn't put filler in it until she burned it. Her face is still swollen. And he said, she still weighs too much. Well, we can fix that one. They said, there's some idiot trying to sell me online. He looked like the Kingsman. He showed back up. He's been watching me for five years. Some guys walked out of uh, Red Lobster. She said it was on a Tuesday. Find out. Then we'll go back to 19. We'll get him. He's been stalking her for five years. Told you. Even in Target and Belden tonight, people were laughing. Said, you know, that guy said if he really was a real doctor selling her information, she would have owned him. Oh, I... They would have made me a millionaire if a doctor from Altman Hospital was selling and sharing my information to people without my written consent. Hmm? I would own Altman Hospital. There's HIPAA violations. They can't talk to the police. They can't talk to feds. They can't talk about any, anybody to anybody about you or your medical history. There's HIPAA and rights to privacy. Hmm? They can't talk to them. See, the police know it's a medication error because they had to go in the doctor's office with me so Dave couldn't hurt me. They had to sit in the back room and watch through a camera. See what I mean? They already know it's a medication error because they had to go with me. Like that, they said, that guy said if he really was a doctor, she would have owned him. See, that's where December 30th, 23, Altman emergency room. I'm in there with a client. The nurses are outside the room talking. No one's to talk to these people ever. The hospital said they could get sued. I would own them. And the state would probably shut you down, honey. Or so many millions of fines, you, a lot of you would get fired. And anybody talking to him would get a 10-year sentence and a quarter million dollar fine. HIPAA violations. So uh, the, these people even had a doctor impersonate a doctor from Altman Hospital selling information. Nobody's to talk to him. And uh, n my God, nobody's to ever back those doctors from before. They were all lying. They even lied that she had brain tumors. And there was nothing wrong with her. It was their medication making our second. They were just ripping off her insurance. No one's to ever back people ripping off people's insurance and making them sick with medication errors. And police officers walk by. It was uh, medication errors that made her sick before. I said yes. None of this is funny. Those doctors were just ripping off her insurance. None of it is. Like they they were laughing. They said the guy that said if he really was a doctor, she would have owned him. Now you think about it, it's a 10 year sentence and a quarter million dollar fine. So if some doctor from Altman Hospital walked into an FBI building saying that he was gonna give out somebody's information, what was that federal police officer to do? arrest him? What was he supposed to do to Dave and Strange for bringing in Pete and his slash Alex? They were laughing about it too, but being Alex and a beer today. And that stripper, all he had to do is Google the real Pete and realize he's 7580. And he wouldn't have an 18-year-old daughter. They were impersonating him. Huh? Impersonating a government official is a federal crime. Hmm? So is human trafficking somebody. Drugging them, kidnapping them, kitty porn. Hmm? Sex trafficking videos of people. We're, we, they've had more than life sentences more than once. And that federal police officer did not arrest them for their vile crimes. I 
I want you to think of that. Hmm? I want you to think about that. Think about it. You didn't arrest him on the spot. No one's allowed in your home. It's a Fourth Amendment. Police and agencies can only be in a home under a threat of life with statements. Even the President of the United States cannot have your home bugged. President Nixon couldn't bug an office. He got impeached because of the right to privacy. So where would Pete slash Alex and Michelle be above the law? They're not. They're human traffickers from Florida. Scamming people. It's a big scam. Oh, and you idiot people. And I'm going, they called you idiot people for participating in this. They've, you've been the laugh of parties June 30th, 23, how they mock you for being such big fools. Uh, they may find the FBI June 7th, 23, how they pulled FBI agent John. Now we're going to put it down to this. You are a U.S. citizen. You need to get an IQ and you need to teach your children and empower them that they live in the United States and sexual predators cannot violate them and get away with it. They have rights underneath the Constitution that is given to every U.S. citizen that sexual predators cannot violate them and get away with this, that they have rights. Do you understand me? I want you to start teaching your no-knowledge, uneducated children and educate them. Educate them to have a brain cell in their head that sexual predators cannot prey on them and get away with it. Teach them some self-respect that some sexual predator comes up and says that they have been hired to watch you. What are you there to do? Hang up the phone and call 911 and tell the police so the police can get them. Do you understand? You tell them. That person, and if they tell you they're going to sell videos and, and they photoshopped a washing scene and a sex extortion act, that they're, those people are going to go to jail and they're not going to be in trouble. And they were they woke up bruised or infected and throwing up and they thought they had the flu or something else was making them sick and found out some sexual predator had been coming in there violating them and drugging them out and telling them to say something in a sex extortion act. That they're a victim and there's rights that protect them. The victim does not get made fun of. You're not that stupid. You need to start educating your children. And we all know everything's digital. Everything can be photoshopped from words to scenes. They can change your eye color, your hair color, your clothing. They can put your head on somebody else's body. Like my friend Jim, his son edits movies from living. Yeah, he actually does it in his phone. He has an app for it. He said, he asked me if he could do all this. He said, yeah, easy. He said that he could take words out of sentence, put it, make a cut and paste different ones out of other sentences, make a whole new sentence, make it look like you're saying something you didn't. Hmm? He said he could put your head on somebody else's body. He could change your eye color, your hair color. He could take the shower scene and put it in another room. He could even go back through your outfits and put an outfit on so it makes you look like you're washing with clothes on. He said it was that crazy that he could do that. You do anything. Everything's digital. It's not actually like clothes. You just move. You know, I was at a client's house and they had it on the news. They said, we're tired of these people doing that to people and framing them, taking words out of sentences and, and to put other sentences and to make a new sentence and make them look like they're saying something they didn't and photoshopping scenes. We're tired of it. I'm not the only one they did it to. Okay. Now I want you to think about that. And Ruby is your sleepwalking. Just like my neighbor Mike came up to me. I don't know how I got home. I'm like, go sleep it off. You don't understand. I've been sitting there out for hours. What do you remember? The second beer. He's a big guy. I'm like, go sleep it off. You don't understand. I got $80 in my pocket. I'm like, check your bank. He did what I told him to. He's like, okay. I took 100 out. What well, was in the box with mustard and how did I change my shoes? I'm like, go sleep it off. It's just like, I don't know what's wrong with me. He didn't know how he got home. Realized they roofied him. He he said, you know, he looked right at me, plain as day, and said, you know, I used to be a New York cop, and you're pretty. I looked at him, I said, you need to sleep that off. Then he said something else to me and a guy. I'm like, you need to sleep that off. I told him later on, he told me he was a New York cop. He said, 
I don't remember saying that. He said, I found out I, in the middle of the second beer, I started telling people I was an astronaut. Nice to some, swore to others. Just like my co-worker dog. She had a set of twins. One had died. She's grieving real hard. Her friends get a babysitter for the surviving twin, takes her out for a night. She's sitting there crying at a bar, so they gave her space. And she ordered a drink, took a drink, acted a little happy. Nothing out of the usual. Acting fine. A group of people they didn't know came up and started talking to her. She left with them. She's acting fine. Found herself in a puddle of pee outside. They had raped her and redressed her. She didn't realize it. She got home, throwing up dizzy, messed up the next day. Two months later, she found out she's pregnant again. She's like, how could I be pregnant? I've not had sex with anybody. Hmm? Just like uh, this old guy that I know, he called me. He said, my, he's like up in his 80s. He said, my one neighbor woke up and some naked man, some crackhead was walking around her house naked. She called 911. The police showed up. He's standing there talking to him. Fine. Didn't realize he was naked. Didn't realize he was in the wrong house. I said, that's the kind of drugs they're supposed to have used on me where I was so sick. And it wore off. I told you, I have talked to even other people that have had their either wife or somebody they know get roofied and you're sleepwalking i've talked to sheriffs out of this area we all know about those roofies those date rape drugs you're sleepwalking for four to six hours they break in front of the cops that they uh could control anybody for at least four to six hours with those drugs i've talked like i said i've talked to sheriffs even like sheriff david mike dewine's cousin i've went out to eat with him he um he said are your local police slow he said Roofies, we all know you're sleepwalking, and no tape is trustworthy. He said it could be uh, everything from words to sentences could be altered. He said, and then you can Photoshop anything. He said, if you got the right technology, you can do anything. Hmm? He said, and what is wrong with them? What is wrong with them? And they couldn't be in your home. And why didn't they take care of you? And they should have arrested that agent the first day for the way he talked to you. And they should have helped you. I have talked to Sheriff Joe, another officer, another sheriff in another area. And they, these people are pulling nothing but shit with you. They can't be in your home. Hmm? They can't be in your home. And those roofies are sleepwalking. We all know that. Under somebody else's control. I've never had these people in my home. I never talked to them. And if they wouldn't have said a word, I thought it well water because then you got to think that agent they went into a federal police office and confessed they were stalking me they were doing it on their own they admitted that they were date rape drugging me sodium pentothal he knew he couldn't get it to get the truth out of me that they were drugging me up and tell me say stuff he knew i'd be sleepwalking he knew they could put a shower scene in the other room they admitted, to, they admitted they were taping in the bathroom that they had kitty porn. My grandkids used in the bathroom. They admitted that they were beating raping me to a federal police office, or an officer, police officer, and he didn't arrest them for all those vile crimes. You know what he did? He made fun of a victim being violated by the drug cartel. By the drug cartel. That's why they made fun of him June 7, 23, Walmart 62, and sold videos of it. FBI agent John fell for the stun of tapes before. Oh, come on now. That FBI agent would actually fall for a stun of tapes before they were only stunned. You're kidding. That FBI agent fell for a stun of tapes before? John fell for FBI agent John actually fell for the stun of tape before? Oh, come on. He actually did. Ha! They sold videos of it videos of them mocking him no one would fall for that now i've told you the laws what was supposed to happen to them as soon as they walk in be arrested on the spot for their confession of their crimes of violating me and my family and exploiting all of us on porn sites and that for them confessing that they were human trafficking me under drugs assaulting me under drugs and, and a sex extortion scheme voyeurism tapes and human trafficking me under drugs and instead of him making fun of a rape victim that didn't know what was happening to her 
about a month or two ago outside Coles and uh, Alliance. Uh, I think it was Officer Mark was out there. One of my cops remembered their voices. He was off in the dark. And he said, uh, the first month of the case, we found out her ex-husband was keeping her so drugged up. She didn't know what was happening to her. They were drug beating, raping her. They said it was a retired judge in the drug cartel. They wanted his drug connections and to stay out of it. Found out it's just some guy saying he's a retired judge. It's Alex, the white-haired guy with his hair parted on the side and a beard. He's a spent image of that retired judge. If he's even a family member, that wouldn't be funny. But it's just a Santa Claus look. That's where people were laughing at. It was just Alex and a beard. That's how stupid it. All he had to do is Google that judge and realize he's 75, 80. He wouldn't have an 18-year-old daughter. Had to Google that doctor. And then he was to arrest him for selling people's information. And breaking HIPAA laws. And he was to arrest him on the spot. See what I mean. And then Dave for human trafficking me under drugs. Having me stalked. Kitty porn. Him and Strange both were to be arrested on the spot. On the spot, they were to be arrested. And somebody nicely should have knocked on the door and had the sweetest conversation and apologized to me and explained to me where all those marks came from and that they were getting me out of here. Like the CIA agent said, there is no excuse, no excuse that that agent didn't take care of you and they get arrested the first day. There's no excuse. He didn't take care of you. And they get arrested the first day. None. See, that's where Officer Reinhardt in Louisville crossed his arms. I told him about this. I don't care what they say they got. I don't care what they say they did. Until that agent took your statement and agreed to protect you, even the FBI would go to jail for being in your home outside to protect a lie case with statements. So, and uh, it's entrapment if police or agents are doing it because of the Constitution, the right to privacy over a home. Otherwise, they're stalking voyeurism tapes. You can't violate people anywhere, let alone in their home. That's where the Stark County Prosecutor's Office, they made the biggest mistake. They did it in your home. It's a Fourth Amendment. It's a big fraud scheme. Photoshopping or washing where you had marks you couldn't explain and throwing up and heart racing, almost passing out. They probably were, and you never talked to anybody, they probably were drugging up and telling you to say something stupid. Huh? Because you had all the signs of it. Documented by a doctor. Okay? That's where the Portage County Sheriff said it was none of our officers in your home. We didn't have any knowledge on what these people are saying they did is illegal. I said it's the Fourth Amendment. Police and agencies can only be in a home under a threat of life with statements. Yes! Ravenna police. It's illegal what they did. Maslin police, nothing they have is admissible. Do you understand? It was done by just like Officer Mark, August 22nd and 23rd, outside Coles and Belden, about 1 o'clock. Telling the lady how not funny any of this is. Said, did her ex-husband defend her? Yes, we even taped him. Did anybody ever talk to her? No. Then they had to frame her. He said, it's documented they framed her. Was it the drug cartel? Yes. So who's Michelle P. Lauren? The drug cartel. That's who they are. The human traffickers from Florida. Okay. All right. He said, and, it's all, and she's like, none of this is funny. He said, I know it's not. And it's also documented it was a medication error made her sick before. And it's also documented somebody else, some other woman was using her insurance. She's like, none of this is funny. He said, I know it's not. See, all the police know that I'm framed by the drug cartel. They admitted that all through the case, they were drugging me and telling me to say all kinds of stuff. And they were admitting to photoshopping everything in 18 and 19. Everybody turn this in. Go online, Department of Justice, turn it in. Submit a complaint. That agent opened my case to steal. Admitted that he talked to everybody. Do you know he told over 500 to 900 people before he talked to me? I called the hotline. Next morning, they had me so drugged up, I can't even hardly wake up. Tears running down my face. I kept saying I can't. 
going back to sleep. I had to stagger to the bathroom, holding onto the wall, stagger to the refrigerator, holding onto the wall, try to get a drink, get back in bed. Listen to the voicemail. This is ended up call me back. I can't fall back to sleep. I'm not much better the second day. Third day, I'm sitting on the front porch holding my head. What's wrong with me? I feel drunk and I don't drink. It's a sign of a roofie being wearing off. And that's when I finally got enough air in my face. I call one of my witnesses. Of course, I will witness for you. It's getting darker and scary the way she's talking about. Because they're talking about how they're trying to have me killed in the mall. Okay? So I go out and buy a car, put that agent's number in it. Go up to Apostolic Church at Barberton. He's up there telling on me. That about 300 people. Strangest Church had two to 300. And Blaylock's had about the same. So we're talking five to 900 people, he told where he said he met with the church people and that family had nothing to do with that traffic accident. He told the Apostolic Church of Barberton he knew I was being drug beat and raped and didn't care because strange as 15 year old lie, where it was a medication error that made me sick after I had all those surgeries and my muscles locked up and I went to a bunch of crackpots, falsely diagnosed me across the board and I almost died. And it took me nine months to learn to walk again. I was sick for the total of about four, four and a half years. And because that minister thought I caught his son in adultery, made up a shitty lie six months after a traffic accident I had nothing to do with. I started with Dr. Eli in 2000, November 2002. I was almost well in April of 2003. That traffic accident happened in May 3rd of 2003, and I got well in July. Nothing to do with nothing. The medication was making me sick. I had the 6 to 10 surgery. My muscles locked up. Like I said, I went to crackpots. My legs started swelling right away, and I'm like, is this medication? Oh, you have underlying conditions. No, I didn't. Went up into my legs. My heart got off. My thyroid, my adrenal gland got off. I stopped working. My thyroid quit working. My brain was swelling. It was months from death, from medical malpractice. They lied. I had brain tumors. I had brain swelling. It's a big difference. Uh, they wanted to remove part of my brain. They wanted to put a bag on my side because my stomach was bleeding from all the meds. And I took another doctor to tell me they were getting kickbacks from drug companies from $200 to $1,000. Now they were wanting to do unnecessary procedures. There was nothing wrong with me, but my muscles locked up. Everything was induced by the wrong medications. And Dr. Eli occurred, got me on fentanyl patches, said I have to get you on enough pain to actually move those locked muscles. As you move them, blood flow will get back in. You'll, once they uh, get blood flow back into them, they'll loosen up and they can build new muscle tissue. It, it, it's a medicine making you sick. In the first month, I lost 30 pounds. Uh, by the second month, I was pulling around myself around stores and malls. Uh, by the third month, I, all the swelling in my brain was gone. My heart was beating fine. My thyroid adrenal gland was working again. And I could drive my own car. And I pulled myself up and down streets, malls, stores, did my own grocery shopping. I had to learn to walk on numb feet as the swelling went down. And it took me nine months to learn to walk again. Nothing to do with nothing. Strange to even know it, Dave told them in the sanctuary in front of me that it was a medication making me sick that the doctors were all wrong and that they had been lying. And he's like, you better get an attorney and sue him. He even knew it. And he thought I was on morphine. Hair mom felt all stronger. He even knew it. And it was just a scam to cover up. My sister Linda is married to his son, Tim, and he caught, she caught him out with Katie and was following him around. And they got, she got caught following him and they thought it was me. And he made up that shitty lie in November of 2003, six months later. But the Vegas were getting all that attention for six months of their kid getting killed in a traffic accident and it interrupted their pity party, which her, that's where the psychopaths come in and think your brain, they can do not feel sympathy, empathy, or remorse, but they feel happy, joy, and excitement. And it's genetic. Phil's racing over 60 miles an hour with their, their kid in the car, showing off in front of the church people. My whole family is sent home. And he blows through a stop sign into a semi and kills them both. Okay? And they're, they are getting all this pity. Now, it's normal to give food, cards, flowers for the first two weeks. After that, it gets a little awkward. And then after a month, it's wrong. People need to heal and adjust. Um, in six months, like they said, it was like they worshiped them. They were getting all people and they, you know, they're throwing that food away. They're millionaires. They want to eat somebody else's uh, food brought over. They're millionaires. Uh, they were just thriving on the attention. It got to the point people were complaining. Other people were complaining how sick it was. Okay. It's like they almost worshiped them. 
wanting to do plaques, planting trees, and it was to the point of being sick. And just because Strain said, oh, you were faking through that, had nothing to do with her father killing her kid. Nothing. But it interrupted them getting attention. And they waited 15 years to kill me. Can't even feel sorry for him. Had nothing to do with her father's stunt. And then what, thriving off of the tension of they're getting right now. Think about that. And they were putting their name on that. You couldn't even feel sorry for him. You couldn't even feel sorry for him. And that agent told the Apostolic Church of Robertson. And investigators went up there last summer. None of this is funny. He did tell Apostolic Church of Barberton, he knew I was being drug beat and raped and said he didn't care because the strangers lie. Oh, you were faking through it the last four years. Yeah, right. Can't fake that shit. I have MRI reports showing the swelling, blood work, showing everything shot down, copy of the fentanyl patches, and false diagnosis of pituitary tumors level two. False diagnosis is a sign that you understand. Can't fake that shit. I talked to a criminal attorney, and that agent don't have enough authority to actually stay quiet as a freedom of speech. It takes a sitting judge in it, uh, to uh, put a gag order on you. And why would you stay quiet if somebody already told five to 900 people? And confessed he did on a recorded line. And knew you were being framed and laughing at you how you didn't know. And I didn't know a thing. It wasn't funny that he talked to me like the worst cat in the world. Act like he's going along with a, a lie from an occult leader. Okay? He confessed he talked to everyone. He don't even have the authority. Criminal attorney, prosecutor's office, and police departments all know the freedom of speech it takes a judge to put a gag order on you. You can tell whoever you want and they can't open their mouths. And everybody already knew before he talked to me. He should have stood on Canton streets with a blowhorn. Hey, did you know Karen Hall called the FBI hotline? Less people would have known. Okay? And he knew nobody for the Fourth Amendment could be in my home. And he knew he couldn't take my money. He opened that account and they said he stole the money the first day. December 2nd, 22, Wendy's Alliance. October 6th, 23, Walmart 62. They're talking about him that they knew he stole my money then. They knew also... November 20, 20th of 23, that he stole my money and he accepted a bribe. They were inside Walmart 62. They called him a paid off dirty agent January of nine, January to March of 19 in the mall. Or I could write a bestseller on what happened. I call it Karen's Prayers. A paid off dirty agent, a man trying to kill his wife and men being shot at running at all this shit on. Huh? January 19, Walmart 62. They said he took a payoff. Or are you going to steal my money? That's what they said about him then. That he's so corrupt, he's trying to steal my money. He's actually that corrupt. See, that's where I've talked to sheriffs out of this area. They want to know what's wrong with our local police. They should have arrested him their first day. Uh, uh, the 14th Amendment in the Constitution, they cannot take your money or assets without due process of the law. You have to be found guilty and sued for it. You can't just take it. You can't stop protection, 14th Amendment. President Nixon couldn't buck an office for the right to privacy got impeached. Why would the drug cartel be allowed to do it to me? They were to be arrested the first day. Everybody turned this in and said, like they said, it's that idiot stealing her money. They yelled it on Akron Street. And that, uh, that Akron, either the Akron police or the Summit County sheriffs, they think it, thought it was FBI agent John last uh, last year. They were telling people not to say anything to me. They already knew everything was photoshopped on me before. All the police know that. They all know.